I was going to make a video on Reddit anyway, and then this happened, so I guess I'll talk about this. If you've been online or seen the news lately, the big thing is that some neckbeards on Reddit managed to somehow bankrupt or otherwise fuck over some rich hedge fund managers in the states by something something GameStop. It's pretty interesting to see and I understand that figuring out what they actually did can be kind of confusing, so I'm going to try my best to teach you all some basic capitalist economics on how some Redditors fucked over Wall Street. So on Reddit, r slash Wall Street Bets is a place for memes about finance and also trading said finance. According to uh, themselves, the sub is basically astrology for men. Anyway, let me introduce you to the concept of the stock market and explain it in layman's terms. A stock market, or share market, the difference isn't important, is a place where one can buy parts of a company and then sell them at a later date. The idea is, let's use shares as an example, you can also buy things called exchanges, futures and options, but I don't know what those things are and don't care enough to find out, so just stick with shares for the moment. You buy a share of when a company is not doing very well, then you wait for that company to do well, and then you sell off that share for a profit. That's that's it. That, that's how it works. Now you might be asking, wait, how, how are these shares have value? How do you make it gain value? And how do stock prices increase and drop? And the answer is, um, they're not real. Stuff, yeah. That, that's just it. Stocks aren't really a thing. They're, they're imaginary. Just like everything else in capitalism. They, they don't really exist. Hold on, I'll explain. Well, I mean, generally speaking, stocks aren't real. Stock and share prices are somewhat set by the company or business they're for, but the rest is just magic. If people buy more stocks, their price goes up. If people sell off, their price goes down. Simple. If a company does something stupid that causes backlash or outcry, like the MyPillow guy, then stock prices can obviously take a hit because investors don't want to be associated with that, so they sell off. The reverse is true, like if a company releases a really good product and it sells really well, then more people will buy into that company because they want to get rich as the company gets rich. For the most part, stock prices are just determined by how people feel about the company in question. It's, it's just feelings. That's literally it. But remember that part where I said that if you buy a stock, then it also raises the price of that stock? Well, there exist things called hedge funds and short sellers. It's like reverse gambling. In gambling, you bet on something to win, but hedge fund managers and short sellers bet on something to lose. How it works is you buy a share to sell on the market and then buy it back at a later date. Why? Because they buy shares from companies that they think are going to fail, so they sell high and then buy them back at a lower price than before. Is this legal? Yes. Is it extremely unethical? Also yes. Did it collapse the economy in 2008? Also yes. But setting aside the questionable morality of this practice, there raises a question. Why don't regular people do this and get rich? Well... Most stock prices worth investing in start off really high, so the only people for whom this strategy is viable is, are the people who are already rich and want to get richer. If you're a millionaire already, all you need is a couple friends to put in some money to make yourself a billionaire. If you're poor, I can't really copy the strategy, but you can fuck with people who do. See, hedge funds and short sellers prey on struggling companies like GameStop, whose shares were only $4 each a year ago. So when a bunch of nerds on Reddit literally invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into their company, thus causing their share price to skyrocket, it made Wall Street shit itself. Basically, this fucked with a lot of short sellers and hedge fund managers who were betting on GameStop to fail. In doing so, they've made a bunch of short sellers and hedge fund managers essentially go bankrupt just by making a company do well. It's incredibly stupid and honestly I'm surprised by the fact that it's even worked in the first place. But it has worked and it's really funny to watch. Basically that's what Wall Street Bets did. Afterwards there's been a bunch of fun backlash from financial bigwigs who are pretty pissed that an internet forum did to them what they usually do to everyone else. And mainstream media is, of course, blaming Trump because what else are they going to do? And a couple of Redditors got very rich. So, the TLDR is... Um, a bunch of dudes on Wall Street were betting on GameStop to fail as a company because they make money off that somehow. And then some Redditors fucked up their strategy by actually making that company succeed. So... Yeah, that's 
That, that's basically it. They, they beat them at their own game. Well done, Reddit. Very cool.